What's going on there? Leo here. <clears throat> and in today's D video, we're going to be talking about how to get great customers reviews in only a few minutes a day. So if you have a small, <clears throat> if you are a small business owner here in Solano County and don't have time to get more online reviews <clears throat> for your small business, in today's video, we're going to be covering three easy ways to ask customers for their feedback. So go ahead and stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we do that, my name is Leo. For those of you that don't know me, I have a small company here in Solano County called Digital Track, where we ho help uh, small businesses uh, in, within the county to increase their online exposure so that the more customers can find them, right? A lot of times, perhaps we start by building a foundation because they don't have an online presence at all. And other times we go and see how to fix it or how to increase it. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. So is asking customers to leave online reviews for your business at the bottom of your priority list? If that's the case, uh, you're probably missing on opportunities to spread the word about your business and for free, you know, no less. And if you are small business owners, you don't use technology at all and, and don't use advertising at all, uh, you're probably already relying a lot in word of mouth. And so you already know how important that is, the word of mouth. And one of the ways that you can help increase that, obviously, is your service, right? The, the, the quality of the product you provide, the, the quality of the food um, uh, and your service. Because you know that if that's not on top, uh, the word of mouth will not come, right? The small area like we are in Solano County, people will tack and customers will stop coming in if the product is not good, if the service is not good, um, uh, if the customer service that you provide, if the experience that they have is not good at all. Um, just have to invest some time, okay? We just have to invest some time for these other tips that I'm going to talk about so you just do your life solely and, and word them out. So how much time? Well, probably not as much as you think. Let's go ahead and dive in. In fact, um, you need to add no more than a few seconds to your regular interactions with customers. So you basically just going to add a few seconds with what, with what we're going to cover to what you're already doing if you know if 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 you know how important it is the word of mouth the, the, for your business and you already uh, creating a great experience for them, right? You interact with your customers. Well, with these steps that I'm going to cover, I'm just going to add a few seconds to what you're already doing. So here are a few tips to help invite, invite people. Um, here are a few tips to help invite positive reviews in an easy yet ethical way. So the first tip is using common cards, okay? Um, have customers' feedback cards printed Right, like let's say it's a business card that are actually just common cards printed um, that gives customers very simple instructions on how they can give you a review online. Basically, these instructions would be something like say a business card has the content information of your business, right? The information about your business, but also say something your feedback will help us a lot. You know, please visit us at this site. You can leave the link to Google or link to your Facebook page or link to Yelp. Right. Uh, so that's basically the first how you can you can utilize common cards to do this. Include a link to your business profile on your preferred site, such as Facebook page or Google My Business profile. Um, you can hand out these cards, uh, you know, when the customers are about to leave or if they already purchased from you or if you provide a service, you know, you can hang out the cards after the service provider, a real estate agent, right after the sales is closed or the uh, property was sold. Uh, leave out these cards and tell them where to go, right? Tell them where you prefer them to leave your review. And if they're willing to do more, even better, right? Tell them the, um, more than one site or or even if they can do a video testimony. Um, so the next tip we're going to cover here is the face-to-face, -face, right? There's nothing wrong with politely asking your loyal customers for an honest review. Uh, I'll tell you what, when I close, when we close on this house that we're living currently, um, there was nothing wrong with my real estate agent asking me face to face, would you please leave me a review? Actually, as a matter of fact, I, th I think I was the one to ask her, right? So when um, your customers receive such a great experience, they're more than willing to ask you or you ask them, would you please leave us a review? So would you please leave us your honest feedback of how we did uh, on this site? 
um, simply because that will help me continue to grow my business, continue to help other people right within the county or customers. Uh, and also, I will it will continue to help me to uh, uh, um, do better in my business because either I could get constructive feedback or good positive feedback, it's all worth it, okay? So they are not required to leave a positive review, only review at all, right? But a direct in-person request is often happily obliged with a positive post. Um, the third tip that we have here, how you can ask uh, for a customer review or customer feedback is that use email and social media. Um, so you can also include a quick friendly review request in an automated or marketing email you send to customers, such as and as, such as uh, newsletters or after a transaction in a social media post. Um, just remember, review should never be a fox or force, right? You should never force them. Uh, you can just add, nicely, politely ask, would you please give us your feedback, uh, how we did, how was your experience in here, etc. If you provide great products and services, excellent reviews will almost certainly will follow. So one of the things that we do for some of our clients, with our clients is that we set up automated system that when people decide to do decide to sign up to or newsletters or do decide to sign up to um, um, uh, what other things uh, newsletters um, get offers get um, discounts from us right emails with discounts and offers and etc. Um, there's sequences that uh, we set up in an automated way right number one is to welcome them and to thank them uh, or, or to congratulate them depending on the, uh, or how they sign up. Uh, the number two email is to um, uh, see if they are ready to visit them. If they had the chance to visit us or to do business with us already, uh, to please leave us that honest feedback and, and why that is important right, for a business and then the links to where they can go to leave us um, uh, so feedback or, or reviews. And so that's the only way you can do it automated way. Social media, the way we do that is um, we use on Facebook something called uh, a, a chat bot, right? Uh, through an application called ManyChat. And so customers that do decide to sign up to receive messages from us on Facebook, they basically um, are going to sign up to a sequence, right? Let's say um, you see on somewhere um, uh, about getting a five dollar discount coupon, you decide to sign up to get our offers in the future. Um, well, w with three days later or five days later, you're gonna receive another automated message saying, following up with you, saying, um, "I hope you had a chance to visit us. If you did, would you please leave us an honest feedback?" And, and the, here are the links to your site. So those are similar ways you can do with that social media. Um, so I hope that helped you, right? If that uh, was good, please go ahead and share this information or subscribe to the channel, whatever you're watching this. If you are small business owners and have other ideas on how, um, what uh, we can do as small businesses here in Solano County to increase or um, uh, to increase our online reviews, please go ahead and share it below. If you want to hear about some other videos or have some questions please go ahead and share it below uh let me know how it did right let me know if you like this type of videos or not um something else i have for you is if you could visit if you have issues with um clients uh that are have a hard time finding your business or if you have um let me share my screen real quick because i have a special offer for you so if you have clients complaining that is they have a hard time finding your business or that I was complaining that they they ended up going to your competitors because there's no information about you online or the information that they look for it's about your competitor or let's say your um uh they, they always have a bad customer experience because the information they find about your business online it's wrong or it has the wrong phone number the wrong address a lot the wrong business hours um, well, all that is just basically constantly creates by customer experience, right? So if you have any of those, um, let's go ahead and see what's happening. So you can go to digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business, right? And you're going to come to here to my website and you're going to complete this form over here. And what's going to happen is 
um, when you click on get my free report, I'm going to receive an email with some of your information here, right? Uh, that I will need to go ahead and do the scan for your business and then put it together in a report. Uh, then I'm going to contact you back so we can set up a call and go over the analysis report, see what's wrong, see what's causing those issues. And then I'm going to be providing some, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some uh, recommendations, right? Or what can be done to fix those issues. So if that's something that interests you, just go ahead again, just come to digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business. Um, or if not, you just want to look at, continue looking at receiving more information about um, me, what, what other new information I come out, just basically visit my, my website, my main website, digitaltrack.co. Um, and you can follow me on social media. I uh, post my social media links over here. You can subscribe. You can send me an email, say you want to subscribe to receive my my um, my information, my newsletters, my blog. Uh, you can text me. You can come to the bottom and follow me on social media. Here's my YouTube channel. If you, uh, for example, would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see more videos um, like this. All right. Hope you have a great one. Bye.